<laughs> but it does wonder, can, can politicians have this debate? Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm pro-Obama. I'm totally pro-Obama on this. I think he said the right thing. Listen, it was a gospel of humility. Uh, what sorts of people need a little gospel of humility? People in Washington. Pundits, mm -hmm. religious believers. I happen to be all three of those things, uh, and so we're we're told to uh, we're told to walk humbly in the, the path right. of the Lord. The Lord's ways are mysterious, mm -hmm. and so he was saying, you know, we're prone to zealotry, as as John said, we're we're fallen. But David, and so to, to underline that, that's useful in Washington today. That's useful always. You can't do it until after you leave office. No. I mean, is that is, is that where we're at? No, I think he was right. He gave the race speech. It was a beautiful speech. He's given a whole series of, of great speeches. Trayvon Martin. He's given us. I think this was utterly fine. This is exactly the moment I want to say this. We are at most in moral danger to ourselves mm -hmm. when we're caught up in a righteous fervor against an evil foe, which is what we have. And so while we exercise high sp hard power, we have to take morally hazardous action. We're going to be prone to get caught up in our own self righteousness. This is exactly the moment you. There want to are a lot of 